Let me give you three steps to start life change that can change your life, your personality, your lifestyle, everything can change. Here's the steps. Number one, find out how things work. The first key to doing better is find out. To change your life, really, you need ideas. There isn't anything an idea can't change. And Schulf taught me the major problem is lack of an idea, not a problem. At first, I didn't have any money. I said to Mr. Schulf, I don't have any money. He said, that's not a problem. Now, see, up until then, I always thought it was. <laughs> right? I was confused. He said, no, no, the problem is lack of an idea on how to create money and wealth. It isn't lack of money, it's lack of ideas. So if you get the ideas, see, you can change anything. Now, to get ideas, you need a constant study of finding out. Now, Schoff also said, when you find out something that works, put the information in your journal. Don't use your head for a filing cabinet. Put it in your journal so that you can do the next best thing. Repetition, repetition, repetition. Go over it. And if you repeat it, go over it, sure enough, someday, some mysterious day, the idea takes root, starts to grow, and shows up in your bank account, and your dress, and your personality, and your lifestyle. But capture the ideas in your journal. Find out how things work. Schoff gave me this word for my life change. He said, study. Great word. If you wish to be successful, study success. If you wish to be happy, study happiness. If you wish to be wealthy, study wealth. Don't leave it to chance. Make it a study. Some people just go through the day with their fingers crossed. See, that won't do it. You've got to study the things that can change your economic, social, spiritual, personal life. Now, here's a qualifying phrase. And we'll have several of these qualifying phrases throughout the seminar. Here's the first one. You may not be able to do all you find out. I understand that. You may not be able to do all you find out, but you should find out all you can do. See, you don't want to wind up at the end of your life and discover that you've lived only one-tenth of it. And the other nine-tenths went down the drain. Not for lack of opportunity, for lack of information. So that's number one, find out how things work. Now, here's the best human virtue for finding out, curiosity. Make a note of that. Curiosity, be curious. You might add a word to it that'll help. Childish curiosity. What will kids do if they want to know something bad enough? Bug you, that's the phrase. They can ask a thousand questions. You think they're through? They got another thousand. They'll drive you to the brink. It's a virtue. When you gotta know, be like a child. In fact, Jesus, the master teacher said, unless you can become like little children, you might as well forget it. You don't have a prayer. Excellent advice. You gotta be like children. Four ways, in my opinion, to be like a child. Number one is curiosity. Number two is excitement. Get excited like a child over your ability to make yourself do anything for change. Third is faith. Have faith like a child. Adults are too skeptical. And fourth is trust. Trust is a childish virtue, but the rewards are incredible. Now, here's the second step to personal development. Okay, number one was find out how things work. Here's number two. Go to work. You must now take action on what you found out. In doing business around the world, we call it game plan. Put together your game plan. One of the major things we teach on the weekend seminars, game plans. How to game plan your office. If you're in sales, you need a game plan. Kids need a game plan. You need a home game plan, social game plan, a business game plan. Everybody needs game plans. Financial independence, game plan. Your investment, game plan. Don't think in your head. Put it on paper. Don't operate out of your mind. Operate from paper. I often ask somebody, what are you going to do the next six months? And somebody starts to tell me. I say, no, don't tell me. Show me. Show me your game plan for the next six months. Then I can look at things and maybe I can help. But you got to operate from paper. Put it on a game plan. Take action on what you found out. Now, here's the best word I know of to go with action. Massive. See, that'll change everything. Massive action is called the cure-all. If you're going to make calls, make a few thousand. If you're going to make contacts, make a few thousand. If you're going to knock on doors, knock on a few thousand. See, that'll change everything. Here's the language of the poor. I'll try it a time or two and see what happens. 
It's the way poor people talk. The guy says, well, I'll give it 30 days. 30 days, you could guess his bank balance. You've got to have a better game plan. So here's one of the major things to do starting tomorrow. Take a look at your game plan. If it isn't loaded with massive action, change it tomorrow. Action. The formula really works like this. Pick up a good idea, take heavy action. Pick up a couple of good ideas, take heavy action. That's the formula for sex, success. Heavy action. It's a good thing we can edit all this, right? The formula for success, take heavy action on a good idea, right? That's the ratio. Now here's the key. Don't wait till you've learned two or 3,000 things because that way you'll use up all the time. And you could wind up smart and broke. And hey, it's okay to be dumb and broke. But if a guy's smart and broke, that's pitiful. Don't let your learning lead to knowledge. You'll become a fool. Let your learning lead to action. You can become wealthy. And there's many kinds of wealth. I understand that. Not just money. Money is one of the least of all values. I know some people with a lot of money that are very poor. Evita sings, as for fortune and as for fame, they are illusions. They're not the solutions they promised to be. So there's all kinds of wealth, but to get a big share coming your way, you've got to have a heavy action game plan. Now here's the third step to personal development, and we'll wrap up personal development. Step number three, it's just a little caution, and all through life we need little cautions. This one simply says, don't try to beat the system. Find out how it works, work it, but don't try to beat it. Some people learn just enough to start slicing it, shading it, thinning it, cutting corners, and looking for cheap answers. See, don't fall for that, you'll wind up with a cheap life. Find out how it works best and do it that way. Even though it seems to take a little longer, do it right. Don't compromise with right. Now under this step, here's another key. Be a quick learner. Don't let it take long to teach you. Learn quicker. One guy said he broke his nose seven times in the same place. Somebody says, looks like you'd stay out of that place. <laughs> Learn quicker. Now the third point here is don't be stubborn. See, some people won't change even when a better way comes. They say, well, I've been doing it this way 30 years. Hey, be ready for change. If it's a better way, go for it. But don't try to beat it. Or you'll be like the guy that went to Las Vegas. He didn't have much money. So he didn't want to risk his money gambling. But he gets to Las Vegas and the jackpot bells are ringing. The money's flowing. The lights are flashing. And he can't help himself. He's got to gamble. But instead of gambling with his cash, he decides to play the mon mental gambling game. And the brilliant scheme he worked out goes like this. He'd pick a number like number three. Mentally, he would bet a certain amount of money on the number. And whether it won or lost, he would jot down that amount in his little pad. I would have won $5 if I'd have made that bet. Just keep track of it, win or lose. That way, come midnight, he can calculate how he's doing, win or loser, how much, only not his money. Keep his money. Just play this mental gambling game. So here he is around the gambling table, everybody else shelling out their hard-earned cash. He's got this brilliant scheme. Instead of betting with his money, he's betting with his mind, and he lost his mind. Which means don't try to beat the system, I guess.